Yeah, good morning, Julie. And what we're looking at for today is a very good piece of news as far as fire danger is concerned. Today, temperatures are going to be a little cooler. We're staying mostly dry through this afternoon and then showers returning tonight. That's also a great piece of news for fire danger. Mid to high 70s in the valley today, so not as warm as yesterday. Temperatures a little below average. Winds out of the south to around 10 miles an hour. Humidity a little higher than yesterday. So all three criteria that we really highlight for fire danger are all going in the right direction. 20 to 35 percent humidity. That's a far sight better than and 10 to 20 percent humidity we've been seeing over the last few days. So fire danger for today is in the moderate range this afternoon. That's good news. Tomorrow it's going to be even lower than what we see outside today. Looking at temperatures early on this morning as you're making your way out the door, we're seeing some brisk conditions in the valley. 42 degrees right now in Redding just after 6 a.m. 43 degrees in Corning, 46 degrees in Red Bluff and Willows and 48 degrees for Chico with 50 still in Orville. Higher elevations starting out today in the 20s to 30s and we're in the low 50s in the foothills early on this morning. We Winds are mostly calm for Red Bluff. We're seeing them out of the northeast up to 7 miles an hour. Elsewhere, mostly less than 5 miles an hour this morning. And we'll see south winds developing for your afternoon. Humidity recovering a little better overnight. 76% right now in Redding, 79%. Currently for Corning, that is very good news. We are going to see humidity dropping into that 20 to 35 percent range though this afternoon. So fire danger, not as big of an issue for this afternoon compared to what we saw outside for Monday or Tuesday. And then clear skies overhead right now. We are going to see some clouds moving into the forecast by this afternoon and by this evening. We're tracking showers across our region. Here's the change of pace on the way. High pressure now off to our east that's pushing off. Low pressure heading into the Pacific Northwest now bringing some impacts to our region. By this evening, we've got showers moving into the northern mountains. By later on tonight, showers in the north end of the valley spreading across many areas of northern California overnight through very early tomorrow. By morning, tomorrow morning's commute, though, most of these showers are out of the valley in the Sierra becoming scattered towards the afternoon. And then we see dry weather tomorrow afternoon through most of Friday with another round of wet weather looking likely late Friday into Saturday morning. This is mostly going to be in mountain areas. So if you're in the valley, it really doesn't look like we have much on the way after tomorrow morning. Then heading into your weekend, conditions are drying out and starting to warm up Sunday into Monday. Temperatures this afternoon. We're in the mid to high 70s for the valley later today. Low to mid 70s in the foothills. 60s to low 70s in the mountains for your Wednesday afternoon. And ahead in your Storm Tracker 7 day forecast where your weekend is always in view. 77 degrees, partly cloudy skies in Chico today. We'll see a little bit of shower activity overnight and through early tomorrow. Low 70s with Partly cloudy skies tomorrow, low to mid 70s and mostly sunny Friday, low 70s with partly cloudy skies Sunday. Remember that next chance for showers late Friday and early Saturday is primarily a mountain wet weather event. Then we're in the mid to high 70s Sunday, low to mid 80s early next week. Redding 75 degrees, partly cloudy today with showers returning tonight. Mostly dry tomorrow with high 60s, so even cooler than what we'll see today. Partly cloudy skies lingering, little clearing with low 70s on Friday, 70 and partly cloudy Saturday, and then high 70s Sunday with mid 80s for the start of next week. So Julie, yeah, the great news is we've got a little bit of wet weather on the way. It's also staying a touch cooler for the end of your work week forecast.